I hope you're doing well today. Appreciate you joining me. We're going to be thinking about Ruth today. Uh, we're going to look at, at what she tells Naomi, her mother-in-law. But let's begin by looking at the hymn, Footprints of Jesus. Sweetly, Lord, have we heard thee calling, come, follow me. And we see where thy footsteps falling lead us to thee. Footprints of Jesus that make the pathway glow. We will follow the steps of Jesus where they go. Footprints of Jesus. Let's look at our passage now. This is Ruth chapter 1. And just if you're not familiar with Ruth, a famine had broken out in Israel. And there's a man named Elimelech married to Naomi. And they have two sons. And because of the famine, they go to Moab. And they remain there. Verse 2. Then Elimelech dies. And she's left with her two sons. The two uh, sons had married women from Moab. And then the sons died. And then word comes that there's bread in Israel once again. And so Naomi begins the trip back with the two daughter-in-laws in tow. And then Naomi says to the daughter-in-laws, go return to your, return to your land. And... Um, one of them does, one of them doesn't. Ruth clings to her. Verse 15. She says, this is Naomi speaking, Look, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and to her gods. Return after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave you or to turn back from following after you. For wherever you go, I will go, and wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God my God. Where you die, I will die, and there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if anything but death parts you and me. And when she saw that she was de determined to go with her, she stopped speaking to her. Let's think about Naomi's influence. And sometimes folks are of the opinion that, um, and I, I've seen it on social media, where we don't follow other people, we follow the Lord. Bottom line is, it's like Paul said, imitate me as I imitate Christ. And we are to be good examples. And Naomi, Naomi had been a good example. And Ruth loved Naomi, and Naomi loved Ruth. And to look at the language there in verse 17, if anything but death hurts you and me. Naomi was a good example. Now, just because someone is a good example, of course, the other person still has free will. Naomi's other daughter-in-law chose to go back to Moab. We might also look, notice, verse 15, she's gone back to her people and to her gods. And so, she has free will. She can do that. But Ruth also has free will. And she is determined to go with Naomi. So we need to we need to be those sorts we need to be those sort of people that people are willing to follow to the Lord. Because that's that's ultimately what this is. This is Ruth coming to the Lord for refuge. Boaz is going to mention that in the, the following passage um, within the account. But this is what Ruth has done. She has family. Looks like she has family from what Boaz says back in Moab. Perhaps mother and father, I believe, is what Boaz says. And so she's leaving them behind. And she is choosing the Lord as her refuge. The Lord do so to me, and more also. If anything but death departs you and me, your people shall be my people, and your God my God. She's choosing the Lord. She's choosing the Lord. She's choosing the Lord's people. Pardon me if you just heard that. Or fuffle uh, in the other room. She's choosing the Lord. She's choosing the Lord's people. She's choosing 
Naomi. Wherever you go, I will go. And let's also make this point. Uh, along with Naomi's influence and along with Ruth seeking refuge, let's also make this point that Naomi and Elimelech and their sons, they had gone to Moab temporarily. And they, at least they did not know how long the famine was going to last. And I don't think the account says how long the famine lasts. But it was not their home. They, they were Jews. And when the time came, they came back to Israel. Ruth, for Ruth, coming to the Lord and coming to the Lord's people and following Naomi, this is not a temporary thing. This is a permanent thing. This is commitment. This is in it for the long haul. And that's how we should be. As we think about, sweetly, Lord, have we heard the calling? And we think about the footprints of Jesus. And we think about permanence. And we think about while we are pilgrims and sojourners, we seek the city to come. But our commitment to the Lord, our commitment to the Lord cannot falter. We'll have struggles along the way. But we better lean on the Lord in those struggles and be faithful until death. And that's what Ruth says she's going to do. That wherever you die, I will die. She's becoming a proselyte. She's choosing the Lord. The Lord is her refuge. She's following Naomi to a better, a better life, frankly. Appreciate you. I hope you have a good day. Join us tomorrow for another portion of our daily praise.